Hello, good evening. Hi, how are you today, people? How's everything? Tell me, how did you do today? Ah, I see you. You're like connected. I see how many we are. Ah, we're... Good night, teacher. Hi, good night, Nubia. How are you? Bye. Really? That's great. I like yeah. I like to hear that. Me yeah. too. I'm okay. I'm I'm right. Um like half an hour ago I came from work, so I just ate, rest a little bit, and then like start with you. <laughs> okay. Yes. And how did you do? How was your day? Tell me, was it hard? Was it easy? Was it chill? Did you have a hard day? No. No? Relax, relax. An easy one? Okay, I like to hear that. So it means that you have a, you had an easy one. Okay, that's, that's good. How about the other ones? Salvador, Jonathan, did you have a very difficult day or an easy one? Day. A difficult day? Really? Much Ooh, you had a lot of things to do? Sorry, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're like starting the week and just, oh my God. What a difficult day. <laughs> yeah, it happens. <laughs> Oof. Huh? sorry man that that happens sometimes yeah <laughs> and it, and it's kind of i think it's it's kind of difficult to 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 weigh those 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 things especially at the beginning of the week on monday huh oh, my god but anyways that's <laughs> our daily life salvador Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not that easy. All right, so that's 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 one. All right. Uh, how about you, Jonathan and Eric? How's how was your day? How was it? How was it? Good evening. Good evening. So it's 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 a it's a hard day. Uh, it's a hard um, day. Um, so, uh, yes. Um, uh, all weekend. Me ha tocado trabajar. Así de decir. Really? Yeah. Really. Uh, yesterday. Uh, uh, salí a las. Pero ver, ayer fue domingo, ya no sé ni qué día es. Eh, salí a las 4 de la tarde ayer de trabajar. ¿At 4? Eh, ¿Really? ¿Really? I thought, um, it, I thought it was your day off. Um, en teoría. Oh my God. De la, de, del comedor pasó a la sala. <laughs> ah, ok. Mira, okay. Mira. All right, all right. Uh, y, y no sé hasta cuándo voy a descansar realmente ya me programaron trabajo para este fin de semana también así es que oh, eh, so tired um, yeah, um, uh, with headers is, with headers uh, oh my god uh, yeah, with everything you're full <laughs> ya, ya, no lo, ya, no, ya no lo ahorro you're <laughs> You're very stressed, <laughs> as I can see. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Escuchemos buenas noticias. Pregúntele a alguien más mejor. All right. Let's see. Hilmar, right. how was your day, Hilmar? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, un poco descansado. Uh, really? Tres meses ya. Un día está bueno. <laughs> ah, okay. That's great. That's great. Yeah. All right, and how about you, Carlos? 
How was your day? Let's see if uh, let's see if Carlos listen to us. Carlos, are you there? He's sleeping. I think he's sleeping. Yeah, because he he he, he apparently he, he doesn't listen to us. Or oh, I don't know. Carlos Eduardo, are you there? Nah, I think I think he Mire, has... teacher, a modo de comentarios. Cada vez que le está hablando a alguien, ajá, este, ajá. por decir algo, Eric, are you there? Ya siento que estamos en una sesión espiritista, o allá empiezan a mover las mesas así con la. la... <risa> <risa> ok. <risa> No, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. I, I thought the same. It, it, it that's true. <laughs> Just look at Carlos. Hey. Ah, con razón. Se nos se le fue la señal. Yeah, I creo que tenía problemas de conexión. That's why he was like, 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 like he didn't pay attention. <laughs> okay, let's start with the attendance list, uh, and then we're gonna uh, start with the topic for today. It's a very interesting topic. Uh, the one that we're going to have today, just give me a second. I'm going to open up the group, uh, the group, uh, let me see, in here, and I'm going to send the presentation as, as we have been doing before. Give me a second. I'm just going to pass the thing. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi, ah, yeah, Carlos. There. Hi, Carlos. No tuve que desconectar otra vez. Ah, sí, porque le estábamos preguntando ahí y como que no nos escuchaba y todos ahí. Ah, se está durmiendo, se está durmiendo y, y está ahí calladito. Que tengo ojos dormidos, teacher. Ya. Yeah. You look like, like, like you're sleepy. Pero no era, pero no era Eric el que me estaba molestando, teacher. Perdone. No, Porque... no, no era el, el hombre callado, como se le ocurre que era él. Es de credenciales conocidas ya, el compañero. Ah, bueno, pues. Cría fama y échate a dormir, dicen. Bro. Bueno. Saludos, Charlie. Bueno. Oh, Eric. Bueno. Todo. A ver, vamos a pasar entonces a asistencia para comenzar con el tema de eh, esta noche. Let's see. Amilcar Gustavo. No, you're right. Ana Claribel. Hmm. It's not connected yet. Carlos Eduardo. Present teacher. Ok. Let's see. Eh, let's see. Eric Guillermo. Present. Okay. Stephanie Janet. Hmm. Hey, Stephanie's not here yet. Okay. Fatima Alejandra. Present teacher. Okay. Kilmore Cruz. Present. All right. Let's see. Jonathan Alexander. Okay. okay. Thank you. Carla Benazir. Present teacher. Okay. Natalie Vanessa. Hey, Natalie's not connected yet. Okay. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Okay. Romeo Alexis. No here yet. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Okay. Nice. Let's see. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay. Perfect. Salvador Alfonso. Present teacher. Okay. Perfect. Stephanie Adeline. Ah, no se ha conectado. Okay. Stephanie Lisette. Hmm. Neither her. William Alberto. Okay, no, no connected yet. And uh, Joanny Noemi. Present teacher. Ah, okay, perfect. So you're connected. 
Let's see, I'm just going to share the presentation for tonight. Give me a second. Yeah, I think it is it's this one. And I'm gonna send it to the group. Give me a second. Where is the group? I have can I control the group. <laughs> All right, this is number six. I'm gonna put it down here. Solo como recordatorio, teacher, si nos puede hacer eh, el envío del, de la presentación de este día, el archivo mm -hmm. eh, por WhatsApp, por favor. That's, that's what I'm doing. Eso es lo que estoy haciendo ahorita. Ah, ok, sí. gracias. Ok. Oh my God, what I'm doing. Give me a second. And I'm doing like something weird in here. Where is the presentation? Ah, in here. Give me a second because something will happen to this. To this thing and I cannot upload the file. I'm gonna do it another thing. Okay. Let me see. I'm just checking if I can do it again. Okay, perfect. I already sent the presentation. Okay, la acabo de enviar entonces. Let me see, I'm gonna put it on here. Okay, so this is going to be uh, the presentation for tonight. Uh, actually, uh, I don't bring that much information to share with you because we are going to do practice. Okay, we're going to do uh, most of the time uh, for this video conference will be um, practice. Not for my side, it's gonna be for your side. So today's video conference, uh, it's going to be about how to use frequency adverbs, okay? That would be the video conference about. Entonces, básicamente, eh, el tema de esta videoconferencia va a ser adverbios de frecuencia, ¿ok? That, this is going to be a very easy topic for you because we have been working this before. Hemos estado trabajando eh, parte de este tema anteriormente con las time expressions. Así que creo que no, no se nos va a hacer tan complicado, ¿ok? El poder iniciar con una práctica. Ah, uh, and all those things. We're gonna provide uh, some examples and then you will do a practice. All right, uh, what is the class agenda for tonight? ¿Cuáles son los puntos más relevantes de esta noche? Let's see. Um, Nubia, help me already, please. I'm lazy tonight. I don't okay. wanna read. Dice, reviews from previous topics. Ah, ok. Review from previous topics. Vamos a comenzar con un pequeño repaso de lo que estuvimos viendo uh, la semana pasada. And let's see if you remember. Ok, uh, Eric, what's the second um, point in there? Introduction to the frequency, to frequency adverbs. Ah, ok. Then we're going to have the introduction to frequency adverbs. ¿Cuáles son los más comunes? ¿Para qué se utilizan? Uh, we're going to start discussing those things. Then we're going to have a conversation. Ok, practice. Vamos a tener la práctica de una pequeña conversación. Then we're going to do some exercises. Ok, in the work. Um, in pairs. And finally, we are going to check those exercises. Ok. Entonces, estos son como los puntos más relevantes que vamos a tener para esta noche. 
as I told you, the topic is very easy for you. Okay, because it's a topic that we have discussed before. So we're not going to have a, any um, problem to say like that. All right, let's start with a review from previous class. What do we remember from previous class? What were the topics that we were discussing? Not only in previous class, but also in the classes from last week. ¿Qué recordamos de las clases pasadas? What were the main topics? ¿Cuáles eran los temas principales? Let's see if you remember. Siempre fue un repaso de time expression, uh -huh. specific statement, specific statement. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, perfect. That is what we were doing, okay, last, last Friday, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, last Friday. Okay, uh, with the time expressions, Fatima, can you tell me what are the common time expressions that we were practicing? ¿Podría mencionarme algunas de las expresiones de tiempo de las que estuvimos practicando? Monthly. Ajá. Uh -huh. Week, weekly and weekly. All right, perfect. Month. Solo es sad, me recuerdo. Okay, nice. Thank you. Something, never. Okay, very nice. Frequently, regularly. All right. There you go. Thank you, Gilmore. All right. Uh, let's let's start up. Let's see how many were connected. Okay. Mrs. Urrutia. Ah, ya yeah, está acá. Hmm. Bien calladita entró. Let's see. Mm, I want you to give me, I want you to give me an example using the time expression, uh, let's see, monthly. I want one example using the time expression monthly. Monthly. Yes. Um... I go to the supermarket monthly. Ah, okay, very good. I go to the supermarket monthly. Remember, la time expression o bien va al principio de la oración o al final, okay? Just keep that on mind. We got those two options. Nunca va en medio, okay? de una oración. Generally, we don't do that. Hacemos eso con los frequency adverbs, tema que eh, vamos a tener en discusión en esta videoconferencia. Ok. That's pretty much okay. what we were discussing. Ok, nice. Now, let's start with the main topic that we got for today, because it's really important to start up like uh, right now. One second. Ok, frequency adverbs. What is a frequency adverb? Okay, a frequency adverb or an adverb of frequency, listen up, describes, okay, we use it to describe how often an action happens. Esto es como una pequeña definición, okay? Entonces nos dice que un adverbio de frecuencia describe qué tan a menudo o qué tan frecuente Ok, sucede una acción, ok, o actividad, as you wanna, as you wanna say it, all right? That's basically the meaning of how we use frequency adverbs, ok, in those, in those stages, right? The structure. This is something that we already know. Es algo que ya realmente sabemos. Cómo utilizar los frequency adverbs, okay? And how do we do it? Cómo lo hacemos? Listen up. We got the subject, as always. We got the subject. After the subject, we got frequency adverb, okay? Después del sujeto, que en este caso, recordemos, puede ser un pronombre, a pronoun, or a proper noun, un nombre propio, okay? And we're not going to have any, any problem with that. Uh, after that, we had the frequency adverb. Después del, del pronombre o nombre propio, colocamos el adverbio de frecuencia. In that case, into the sentence. After that, we got the verb. 
the one that indicates the action. Okay? The one that indicates the action in the sentence. And then we have a complement. And remember, the complement is to make the sentence more specific. Okay? The complement is to make the sentence more specific. And we got some examples, of course. Salvador, read this example for me. I always go to my house after work. Uh, my house, Salvador, my. My house. Ah, perfect. Thank you, Salvador. All right. Okay. I always go to my house after work. You see? I, that's the pronoun or subject. And then we have always, okay? Always is the frequency adverb, right? So we got always. And then after always, we have the verb. The one that indicates the action in the sentence that in this case is go. And then the rest to my house after work is the complement, okay? Ya eso ahí es un complemento, right? Just to make the sentence more specific. Let's see another example. Um, Joanny, read the second example. You never do the chores? Chores. Chores. You yeah. never do the chores. Very good. Do you know what is chores, people? What is chores? No, son chores en los que nos ponemos, chores. No. Uh, chores, eh, uh, it's basically when we talk about the general cleaning of the house, when we do the mopping, when we do the sweeping, okay? So chores, it's interpreted as tareas de la casa. Okay, like limpiar, eh, trapear, barrer, all right, do everything. Those are the chores, tareas de la casa. All right, so, but do I want you to know this, okay, the structure. I want you to focus on the structure. Quiero que se enfoquen también en la estructura de cómo ha formado cada una de las oraciones. Remember, the one... All right, or the position in this case of the frequency adverb is between the verb and the pronoun, okay? Or subject, in this este case. Ahí va la posición de los frequency adverbs entre el verbo, I mean, el verbo y el sujeto, que en este caso o bien puede ser un pronombre o nombre propio, okay? Good. ¿Estamos bien hasta acá? Are we okay? ¿Alguna pregunta? Teacher. Ajá. What is the difference between chores and tasks? Tasks. Tasks. Ajá. They are and synonyms. Chores. They are synonyms. No. Yeah, tasks puede ser cualquier tarea que usted tenga, no simplemente de la casa. Ok. Example, I had to do my task in my job. Right? Puede tener tareas en el trabajo que tienen que terminar. Puede ser cosas diarias que se le pidan en el trabajo. En cambio, chores son específicamente las tareas que usted tiene que hacer en su casa. Como barrer, trapear, limpiar, uh, do, do all those things. That is the difference. Ok, that the word task is Thank in you. general. All right, that's general. We can use it in different um, fields. Podemos usarla en diferentes campos, no solo en la casa. Ok, the word task. Okay. En cambio, chores, sí, y ahí sí es básicamente, ya específicamente para tareas de la casa. Ok, Thank you. nice. Let's continue. Ok, now we got a list. Ahora sí, vamos a ver los frequency adverbs ya de una manera completa. These are the most. It says, we use frequency adverbs to say how frequently an, act an activity or action happens. Como lo mencionábamos anteriormente, utilizamos los adverbios de frecuencia para qué? 
para hablar sobre actividades y qué, o con qué frecuencia nosotros hacemos una actividad. ¿Ok? That is the main purpose of a frequency adverb. Ok, y acá tenemos desde 100% to 0%. Entonces acá, esta es la tabla, eh, digamos, de porcentajes en cómo está dividida cada una de ellas. Que va desde un 100% cuando nosotros todos los días hacemos una tarea hasta 0%, que en este caso es cuando nunca hacemos dichas tareas. Ok, so in 100% we got always. Okay, always. It means that in a hundred percent or every day we do an activity. Significa que prácticamente todos los días hacemos eh, ciertas actividades cuando usamos always. Right? Carla, help me read in the example, please. Using always. Okay, teacher. Uh, I always get up at five o'clock. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carla. I always you. get up at five o'clock. Listen up. Básicamente es una actividad que todo el tiempo es realizado a esa hora. Easy. Nice. Let's continue with the reading. Uh, Hilmer, read that I uh, usually, which is the 90%. Read the example, please. Usually, he usually tries to work. Ah, ok, very good. Algo que quiero que identifiquen acá, que a pesar de que llevamos una palabra, ok, un adverbio de frecuencia entre el pronombre y el verbo, eso no impide que el verbo principal en tercera persona se le agregue la S. Ok, tenemos el caso del verbo drive acá en el ejemplo. Si ven ahí es drives, se le coloca la S cuando es en tercera persona. Ok. He usually drives to work. All right, let's continue. Jonathan, read the example using normally. She normally checks her email. Ok. She normally checks her email. There you go. If you take a look, the position, the position of the frequency adverb is between the pronoun and the verb. All right, let's continue. In 70%, we have often. Okay, often. Let's see. Natalie, huh? you're coming. Ya perdimos toque, Natalie. All right. Hi. Okay, sería often. Yes. Really I exactly. often. Okay, I often have breakfast at work. Okay, very good. I often have breakfast at work. You see, have breakfast. It's like a menudo tengo o, o tomo el desayuno en el trabajo. Okay, you see, that's often. And then we have the 50%, right? Eric, help me a reading, please. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. She sometimes use the microwave. Okay, let's read again, Eric. She sometimes, repeat. Use, uses, uses the microwave. Microwave. Uh, all right, that's microwave. Uh, microwave. Very good. Uh, she sometimes uses the microwave. Excellent. Thank you, Eric. There you go. So in that case, we got sometimes. Then we got in 30%, we got occasionally. Occasionally, right? That's the word. The example of it, I want William to help me already. William, are you there? Uh, occasionally. Ah. I occasionally work overtime. Ah, okay. I occasionally work overtime. What is overtime? Do you know what is overtime? 
¿Cómo tiempo fue? ¿Cómo tiempo? Tiempo extra. Yes, horas extras en este caso. Ok, overtime significa horas extras. Ok, that's what it means, overtime. Very good, thank you, William. Let's continue, we got seldom, right? Seldom, Carlos Eduardo, read the example. Okay, we seldom take calls at work. Okay, we seldom take calls at work. Es una actividad que pocas veces se hace, probablemente a la semana. Okay, you see? That is, that is the frequency of uh, that activity. Then we got two of them. We got hardly ever or rarely. Hardly ever or rarely. And I want to answer for you, Ruthia, to read that for me. Uh, uh, 5%, right? Yep. <laughs> he readily has conference. Uh, conferences. <laughs> okay, thank you. He readily has conferences. Okay, nice. And the last one, okay, it says 0% or, okay, it mentions, oh, okay, and we use in, in this case this word to talk about those activities that we do not do anymore. It needs us never. Carla, read the example, please. Um, never. Yeah, never. I never get later to work. I never get later to work. Now, nah, okay. I never get late to work. Late to work. Very nice. So in that case, it means that she never got late. Oh, que nunca llegado tarde. Okay, that's, that's nice. All right, good. From here, from these frequency adverbs, tenemos alguna palabra de estos adverbios de frecuencia que no entendamos del todo? Any of them that might not be mm, known for you? Tenemos alguno de esos frequency adverbs que no lo sepamos identificar? Or everything is fine up to now. Okay. Su silencio me hace pensar que todo está perfecto. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Now, what are we going to do with these things? Listen up. Ahora bien, I want a way to practice with sentences that we generally have as from top to zero. Ok, ahora quiero que me mencionen una actividad que ustedes hagan todos los días, every single day, hasta la actividad que ustedes no hacen, that you never do, every day. Ok, let's start from 100% to 0%, and I'm going to start with Salvador. Tell me an activity that you always do. Ok, I have breakfast every day. Okay, I, uh, all right, but in this case, uh, Salvador, I want you to include the word always in the example. Uh, como la, la primera, más o menos. No exactly, lo exactly. Yo puedo decir, por ejemplo, I always teach English. You see, I'm using always. All right, now mention one uh, for you, Salvador. Uh, I always. Uh huh. Uh, break, uh, breakfast every day. Uh huh. Okay, I always have breakfast. Repeat. I always have. I, I always have breakfast. Breakfast. 
Okay, very good. Ya la, para, la palabra o la time expression, every day, ya está de más, porque como dice always, significa siempre. Ok, so en este caso ya es como redundar un poco si colocamos la palabra every day. There you go. So, thank you, Salvador. Now, Jonathan, tell me an activity that you always do. Using always, Jonathan. Using always. Yeah. I always get up at 5 o'clock. Okay, always get up. I always get up at 5 o'clock. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Nubia, how about you? With always? Yeah, using always. Okay. I always take a uh, medicine. Okay. At, at, at 6 a.m. Okay. I always take medicines at 6 a.m. Okay. Perfect. Now using usually. Fatima. Give me an example, mm -hmm. Fatima, using usually. I usually get up at 6 a.m. o'clock. No, ah, okay, all right. Nice, thank you, Fatima. Carla, give me an example using normally. Carla, you got the microphone off. Sorry, um, I normally walk to my work. I always work to my work, okay. Go to my work, okay, nice. Thank you, Carla. Now, Joanny, you there? Joanny? Mm, after? Yeah, using often. often. Exactly, using often. Um, I often... Go to the park. Ah, okay, I often go to the park. Nah, a good example. Thank you, Joanny. Now, using sometimes, Eric. I'm sometimes eat pupusas. <laughs> eat pupusas. <laughs> You're always mentioning pupusas, but ah, yeah, no. <laughs> it's delicious. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Eric. Let's see, occasionally. Um, <laughs> Carlos, give me an example using occasionally. Okay. I occasionally uh -huh. uh, drive at my, my work. Drive to my work? Sí, to my work. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, Stephanie, Rutia. Let's see. Hey, what happened to the other Stephanie? Didn't show up. Uh, Mrs. Rutia, give me an example using seldom. <laughs> Um, I seldom take a bath in the morning. <laughs> okay, ya ve que con los ejemplos se descubren acá. Hmm. <laughs> I seldom take a bath in the morning. Ah. Very good. Pocas veces se baña en la mañana. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Rutia. Now, Roxana, you there? All right, Roxana, give me an example using rarely. Rarely. I, I rarely mm -hmm. visit my family. Mm, okay, very good. Thank you, Roxana. Now, okay. let's see who's missing. Ana Maria. 
Es que calladita entró Ana María ahora. Hmm. Y se la estoy como afónica. No puedo hablar muy <risa> Ok, a ver. Ya la vamos a poner a conversar. No problem. No, let's see. Gracias. Algo me ha dado alergia. Me comí uh. algo y me dio alergia. Uh. Pero no fue salsita negra, ¿verdad? Ok, let's continue. Una <risa> Oreo fue. Una Oreo. Algo de la Oreo me molesta. Ay, ya. Sorry, Ana María. Ok. A todo el chuco el... rosado. <risa> no, no, no. No se nos levanta de la cama si toma eso. <risa> let's see. Ana María, give me an example using... Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Yeah, hardly ever. Pero, um, pero eso que no es readily también. Yes. Okay. Rightly. I rightly. Uh, 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 hardly uh, ever. Using the word hardly ever. Es lo mismo que readily. Tiene el mismo porcentaje en cuanto a uso. Pero quiero que usted me dé un ejemplo utilizando hardly ever. Porque ya Roxana me hizo un ejemplo utilizando rarely. The microphone. Uh, I have. Y mire mi mano. Eh, hardly ever. Uh, I know teacher, no sé cómo hacerlo. Ok, hardly ever, it's basically como decir rara veces. Ok, Ana María. Example, I hardly ever got to church. I hardly ever got to church. And it's true, I mean, you see? I had, ok, I hardly ever go to San Miguel. Ah, ok. Raras veces. Ok, viene a San Miguel. Hmm. Bien sexy, se le oye la voz, ¿verdad? Yes. Cállese, ahorita estoy como Very complicada hard. porque me duele la mano. Creo que es el túnel carpiano que me está molestando. Ya le iba a decir, ¿y por qué tiene esa paleta ahí? <risa> no, mire, ya. Me, me la he vendado porque solo así se me quita el dolor. Ah, de veras. Wow. Qué extraño. That's weird. So... ¿A quién habrá golpeado? Sí. No, no. No, si no salió Mire. de mi casa. ¿Qué habrá afónica, ahí? afónica. Me eh. con salsa negra. Mm. Solo me recuerda. lo que comen It just reminds me uh, to a filter. Me recuerda la voz de un filtro que hay que así habla. Ay, medio rarito. Ahí. But that's good. It's funny. It's funny, though. Sí. Yes. Sí, pero... sí, pero es terrible padecer de alergias. Oh. Yeah. All right. But anyways, espero que se mejore, Ana María. You have medicine? Do you have medicine for that? Sí, lo que pasa es que hay una complicación que tengo a raíz de un reflujo que tengo, oh. que eso cuando entra, tengo ya una lesión, eh, tengo una esofagitis. Entonces, mm. como cuando entra la comida, quizás eso me provoca oh, problemas. God. Qué terrible. Híjole. Bueno, pero esperemos que ya para mañana ya amanezca mucho mejor. I hope so. Yeah, okay. Let's continue. We got the word never or a zero percent to, to continue with an activity. And for this one, I want William to help me out. Tell me an activity that you never do, William. Uh... I never mm -hmm. exercise in my house. I never exercise in my house. Nah, okay. Okay. Very good. Ooh, 
good music you got in your house, huh? All right, let's continue. Let's see. So, I got uh, we got this one right. Let's continue. We got some extra examples. And let's see who can help me out. Roxana, help me out, please. Sara always. Always. Uh huh. Always goes out on Saturday evening. Okay, let's let's start over again, Roxana. Repeat. Sara always goes. Sara always goes out on Saturday. Out on Saturday evening. Evening. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Let's see, Salvador. Read the second example. James. Boyfriends usually pick her up from work. Ah, okay. Thank you, Salvador. James' boyfriend usually picks her up from work. There you go. Do we understand this sentence? ¿Logramos comprender a la perfección esta oración? Or do you have any problem understanding uh, the phrases? Jane's boyfriend. Remember, possessive noun. Jane's, right? The comma and the S, possessive noun. Jane's, Jane's boyfriend usually picks her up. Pick up. Remember what is pick up? From work. Pick up significa... All right, ir a traer. Okay, de un lugar. Pick up. All right, let's continue. Carlos, read the, the, the next example. Okay. Ben. Uh -huh. Emma. And Emma. Uh -huh. And Emma often go for lunch together. Okay, very good. Ben and Emma often go for lunch together. There you go. So if you got, you got the word often. Eso es a menudo, okay? Next one, Fatima. I frequently play soccer. Okay. I frequently I frequently soccer. play soccer. Okay, very good. I frequently play soccer. There you go. So we got the word frequently between the verb and the pronoun. Okay, next one. Oh yeah. They usually send the message. Okay, very good. They usually send text messages. You see, we got the word usually out there. Okay, and these are like the examples I bring out to you. All right, for this for this verb, let's continue. Now with questions. Okay, but at, up to now here, pero hasta acá, tenemos alguna pregunta? Any question that may, you might ask? Something that might not be clear for you, algo que no esté del todo claro. But everything is, it's, it's, it's okay. Everything is perfect. Teacher. Yes. Eh, al momento de hacer una pregunta con este tipo de oraciones. Ah, okay. With questions. Ajá. Ajá. ¿Cuál, es, ¿Cuál sería la estructura? Menciona usted de cómo formar una pregunta. Sí, porque por lo general, eh, no, bueno, no sé en este caso, ¿verdad? Si se utilizaría siempre el das para terceras personas o el do, no lo sé. Pero yes. yo creería que sí, ¿verdad? Por el tipo de, de... No sé, 
Usted no use it. Yep, you can use it. Look at that example question. Ahí tenemos el ejemplo de una pregunta. Y las preguntas generalmente que vamos a hacer para mencionar los frequency adverbs es preguntas con how often. Okay, how often. So in that case, we answer with any of the, of, of the frequency adverbs. Pero la pregunta base va, va a iniciar con how often. You see? Ahí respondo a su, a su pregunta, Carlos. And it says, how okay. often do you go uh, to church? These are questions for you to write down and answer. How often does she have meetings? How often do they go to the beach? How often does she do the laundry? I think those are the ones. Creo que esos son. Yeah. Okay, what do I really want for these questions? Listen up. Bien, solo escribí, solo escribí las preguntas porque quiero que ustedes me les den respuesta con sus propias uh, rutinas, por así decirlo. Okay? Example, how often do you go to church? ¿Qué tan a menudo va a la iglesia? I never go to church. I usually go to church. Huh. Fátima diría I never por la carita que puso. Huh. Fátima. Got to church, Fátima. Okay. Uh, and for the rest, okay? Basado en sus... En sus en sus propias opiniones, ok, en your own, please answer the question. Let me know when you finish. Okay, let me know when you finish. Mrs. Rutia, do you do you go to sleep? Are you there? Creo que se hizo para dormir la señora Urrutia. ¿Cómo me dijo? Ah, ajá. Salió corriendo. Se despertó y salió corriendo. ¿Cómo me dijo, Tiche? Ah. Que ya se iba a dormir, quizá, porque como tiene la cámara apagada. I don't know what you're doing. Al igual que Yesenia. <risa> <risa> es que se le traba la voz y todo. Entonces yo dije, yo pensé que era mi internet porque tenía muchas cosas abiertas. Entonces por eso quité la cámara. Mm. Ajá. De verdad se queda así como. Se queda, se queda como trabado y de repente empieza a decir algo usted y ya no le entiendo, se le había entrecortado. Pues. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Bueno, sí, probablemente sea por, por, por problemas de conexión, quizá. Sí, de verdad, sí. Ahorita que, que usted está explicando eso de las cuestiones, de repente solo oí que dijo que, eh, que sí habían copiado eso. 
Oh my God. But you're doing the exercises, right? I mean, the answer, answering the questions. Pero no todavía le estoy contestando. Okay, do it. Let me know when you finish. I finished. Okay, very good. Let's see what we are doing. Ba, 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 ba. Just pay attention to the question number two and number four. Porque esas son en tercera persona y recordemos que el verbo cuando se coloque tiene que ir con la S, E, S o I, E, S dependiendo del verbo que sea, ¿ok? Just keep that on mind. Do you finish? Finish. Ah, okay. Thank you, Elmer. Finish. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Okay, let's start then. Uh, let's start asking each other these questions and uh, also answering them. Uh, and I must, I would like to start with Jonathan. Jonathan, listen up, Jonathan. I want you to read those questions, okay? And then Nubia is going to answer those questions to you, okay? I am not going to ask you. Everybody is going to participate. Listen up. Todos van a participar, tanto en las preguntas como en respuestas. So, Jonathan, I want, okay. I want you to ask your four questions. I want you to ask uh, to her. Quiero que usted le lea las cuatro okay. preguntas a Nubia y Nubia se las va a responder, ¿ok? okay. All right, do it. How often do you go to church? No, yeah, you got the microphone off. Se volvió a quedar. Se volvió a quedar Okay, sorry. Okay, I usually go to the short on Sunday. Okay, very good. Jonathan? How Second. often does she have a meeting? She always has a meeting. Very good. How often do they go to the beach? They sometimes go to the beach. How often does he do the laundry? He, 
is rarely goes to the laundry. Goes to the laundry. Okay, very so, good, Nubia. Excellent. Thank you, Jonathan. At the end, you will answer your question. Al final, usted va a responder sus, sus preguntas, okay? Um, Nubia, I want you to ask your questions, okay, the questions, to Hilmar. Okay. How often do you go to the church? Uh, so yes, she uh, rarely goes to church. Ah, okay. Rarely, but... Repeat it. Repeat. How often do you go to the church? Ah, usualmente. Uh, yeah, I often, often go to church. I often go to church. Ah, okay. Okay. The number two. How often does she have meetings? She she meets um. Hilmar. How often does she have meetings? No, no, le entiendo bien qué dice. All right, Hilmar, Hilmar, do you listen to me? Sí, a usted sí le escucho bien. Okay, okay, Hilmar. Las preguntas que ella le está haciendo son las mismas que usted ha respondido. Sí, sí. Entonces yo las respondo nada más. Exactly. Las que usted tiene escritas son las que va a leer. Ok. Pensé que tenía que decir lo que ella está haciendo. No, 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 no. Ella simplemente le está leyendo la pregunta. Usted va a leer su respuesta, la que escribió. Ok. Ok, ok. All right, perfect. Nubia, continue the reading. Ok. How often does she? Have meetings. I meet frequently on Mondays. Uh, read again, Hilmar. I meet frequently on Mondays. I frequently have meetings. I have meetings. Now, Hilmar, recordemos, el adverbio de frecuencia va entre el pronombre y el verbo. Esa es okay. la posición, ¿ok? Ok. All right. If you take a look in here, give me a second. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it as an example. Look, this is the position in here. If you, you take see, a I, look there. I have recording. Ajá. Uh -huh. yeah. I meet on Monday. All right. But I think it, the question is have meeting. Right, Ana Maria? I mean, Ah, uh, Nubia. Is um uh, how often does she have meetings? Okay, have meetings. Okay, repeat the answer, Hema. Entonces respondo la mía, ¿verdad? I meet, I frequently meet in a model. Así era mi respuesta. All right, Helmer, look at the, look at the, look at the screen. Ya la presentación que, le, uh, que, que ahorita está. Y la pregunta es, how often does she have meetings? ¿Qué tan a menudo ah. tiene reuniones ella? Ah, usted va ah, a responder. Sí. She sometimes has meetings. She never has meetings. She okay. rarely has meetings. Okay? Okay. Sería, eh, she's frequenting. Mm -hmm. Have meetings. Has meetings. Okay. Meeting. Very good. Nubia, next okay. question. Number three. How often do they go to the beach? Very good. Um, uh, they, uh, they go to the beach uh, one month. Remember, Hilmar, después del pronombre, 
tiene que ir el adverbio de frecuencia que usted va a colocar. Ya ah, sea eso. desde always hasta never. Uh -huh. uh, they uh, frequently. Ajá. Uh, uh, go, go sería, ¿verdad? No, they. Yeah, they. Ok, go to the beach. Ah, ok, uh, very good. Ok, they frequently go to the beach. Very good. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Next number, question. Number four. How often does he do the do the laundry? Very good. How often does he do the laundry? Uh, I do the laundry weekly. All right. In this case, in this case. Uh, recordemos, I weekly, ¿no? I, I weekly, okay. I Ajá, weekly. Solo que, solo que, Hilmer, Hilmer, solo que vamos a usar esta vez, solamente vamos a usar estos, mire. Fíjense. Estos. Desde always hasta never. Ok, ahora las time expressions las vamos a dejar de lado porque esto es algo similar a las time expressions. Porque nos indican qué tan frecuentemente nosotros hacemos una actividad. ¿Ok? Entonces, ahora en las respuestas, simplemente vamos a colocar esta. Desde always, puede ser usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, you see, seldom, hardly, ever, or rarely, and never. Cualquiera de estos. ¿Ok? Ok. Very good. Sería eh, y... Usually laundry weekly. Okay, con she usually, or, I mean, they, or is she? Let me see, let me see. Okay, he usually does the laundry. Así sería la respuesta. Okay. There you go. I'm going to send it up to the message. He, as you say, he usually does. He does. Laundry. Laundry. Yeah. He usually does the laundry. There you go. That's the way. Okay. You know what is the laundry? Do the laundry. Do... Okay. Or do the laundry. In este caso es lavar. Okay. Do the laundry. Uh -huh. Okay. Es la acción. Es la acción. Yeah. Lavar ropa. Yeah. Do the laundry. That's lavar ropa. Es la acción. Okay. There you go. So thank you, Nubia, for asking the question. You were you okay. were right. Okay, Hilmar. Ahora quiero que usted le lea las preguntas a Eric. Y Eric va a responder, okay, o va a leer las respuestas que él escribió. Okay. There you go. How often do you go to church? Okay, how often do you go to church? I seldom go to the church. Why? You should go to church every Sunday. <laughs> no podía mentir. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Me neither, man. Me neither. All right, Hilmar. Second question. Okay. How often does she have meetings? Very good. She always has meetings on Mondays. Very good. How often do they do go to the beach? They sometimes go to the beach. Very good. How often does he do the laundry? He usually does the laundry. All right, perfect. Okay, let's stay here. Vamos a quedarnos un momento acá. Voy a dejar de compartir porque voy a pasar asistencia. Luego vamos a continuar, okay? In a second. Okay, let's see. Amilcar Gustavo. No here, right? Ana Claribel. Present. Ah, okay. Ana María. Present. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Carlos Eduardo. Present. Perfect. Eric Guillermo. 
Present teacher. Okay, Stephanie Janet. Okay, Stephanie is not here. Here, Mark Cruz. Present. Okay. Let's continue. Um, let's see, Fatima Alejandra. Present. Okay, perfect. Jonathan Alexander. Jonathan. Uh, present. Okay. All right, Jonathan. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Okay, nice. Nubia Zulema. Present, teacher. Okay, nice. Romeo Alexis. Present. Okay, very good, Romeo. Rosa del Carmen. Mi Rosa estaba conectada. What happened to her? Huh. Uh, let's see, Roxana y Esenia. Okay. Salvador Alfonso. Interesting. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, Salvador, are you there? Teacher. Es interesante. Ah, what? No me mencionó. Let's no see. me mencionó. Really? Carla Benazir. Ah, pero ya la puse acá, Carla. Okay. I thought it was. Oh. Yes, like that. <laughs> yes, I don't know why it appears like here. Okay, no problem, Carlos. Stephanie Adeline. <laughs> All right. Stephanie's not here again. Let's see, Stephanie Lisette. Present. Ah, la Miss Surrutia. William Alberto. Present. Perfect. And the last one, Joanny Noemi. Present. Okay. Perfect. Let's continue with the questions. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's continue. Who were the last one? I think it was Eric. Me, teacher. Okay, Eric. Now I want you to ask your questions to Ana Maria. Okay. Ana Maria, how often do you go to the church? I usually, usually go to church. Okay. How often does she have meetings? She normally has meetings. Oh, how often do they go to the beach? They always go to the beach. Okay, and how often does he do the laundry? He, he occasionally does the laundry. Ah, okay. okay. Thank you. Give me a second. I'm sorry, Ana Maria. I put you to work. And it's funny the way you speak. I'm sorry to make fun of you. Me disculpo antes de decir lo que sí. Es que, no sé. No reírme del mal, pero se ve gracioso. Se escucha gracioso la voz. That's funny. Okay, let's continue. Ana María, I'm sorry. You will be practicing again. Uh, I want you to ask the questions to Fátima. Okay, Fátima. How often do you go to church? Very good. I hardly ever go to church. Okay. How often 
Okay. Nice. How often do you day go to the beach? They sometimes go to the beach. Okay, very good. How often does he do the laundry? He always does the laundry. Okay, perfect, Fatima. Thank you, Ana Maria. Now, <laughs> Fatima, ask the questions to Carla. Okay. Carla, how often did you go to the church? Uh, and sometimes I go to the church. Uh, how often does she have meeting? She seldom does meetings. Does meeting? Has meeting. Has. Uh, how often do they go to the beach? Okay. They they rarely go to the beach. Okay. Villa number four is how often does he do the laundry? Okay, he usually does the laundry. Perfect. Thank you, Fatima. Now, Carla, I want you to ask the questions to let's see if it's Carlos Eduardo si no participa bien. Okay. Uh, Carlos, how often do you go to church? I seldom go to church. Go okay. to church. How often does she has meetings? She usually has meeting of the weekend. Okay. okay. How often do they go to the beach? They hardly ever go to the beach. Okay. Uh, how often does he do the laundry? He occasionally does the laundry. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carla, and thank you, Carlos. Carla and Carlos. <laughs> okay, nice. Now, Carlos, I want you to practice with those questions with Natalie. Okay, Natalie. Okay. How often do you go to the church? I occasionally go to the church in the year. Okay. How often does she have meetings? I rarely have meetings in the week. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. okay. Wait a minute. It says, how often does she have meetings? ¿Qué tan menudo tiene reuniones? Ah, ella. ok, sí, ella. 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 no me había percatado. Ah, ok, sí, sería, she, she rarely has meeting in the week. Ok. Ok. How often do, do, they, do, do they, verdad, go to the beach? Yeah. They often go to the beach. Okay. How often does the laundry? He always goes to the laundry. Okay. Yeah, we get it. Nice. Thank you, Carlos. Now, Natalie, I want you to ask the questions to Joanny. Okay, Joanny. How often do you go to the church? I usually go to church on Sunday. How often does she have meetings? She normally has meetings. How often do they go to the beach? They all call um, occasionally. Teacher, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Occasionally. Occasionally go to the beach. Very good. How often does he do the laundry? He sometimes does the laundry. He sometimes does the laundry. Okay, very good. That's the question. Now, thank you, Natalie. Now, Joanny, I want you to okay. ask the questions to William. 
William, how often do you go to the church? William? William, are you there? I, I usually, I go to the church. Okay. How often does she have meeting? <clears throat> um, she normally does have meeting. Have meeting in have meeting in the morning. Okay, very good. How often do they go to the beach? They they show them go to the beach. And how and how often does he do the laundry? <coughs> he always do that does does the laundry um okay. a p.m. at 8 p.m. Okay, very good. Thank you, Joanny. Now, William, I want you to ask those questions to Stephanie Rutia. La que no tiene la cámara encendida. Hmm. Hi, teacher. <laughs> ah, you were sleeping. Hmm. No. Yes, you were, huh? Okay, William, <laughs> ask the questions to her. Okay, how often do you go to the church? I sometimes go to the church on Sunday. Hmm? How often does she have a meeting? Meeting. She usually has meeting on Monday. Very good. How often do they go to the beach? They occasionally go to the beach on holiday. How often does he do the laundry? He always does do the laundry on Friday. Does the laundry on Sunday, okay. Nice. Thank you, uh, William. Now, uh, Mrs. Rupia, yeah. let me see who's missing. Roxana. Yeah, Roxana's not, not participating. <laughs> okay, Roxana, how often do you go to the church? I go to the church um, usually. I usually go to the church. Remember, la posición va siempre. I usually go to the church. Okay, how often does she have meeting? She occasionally meets. Uh, how often do they go to the beach? They sometimes go to the beach. And how often does he do the laundry? He usually does the laundry. Okay, the laundry, very good, thank you. Uh, Stephanie, now Roxana, let's finish the cycle. I want you to ask Salvador. Okay, how often do you go to church? Where is Salvador? 
Salvador. Sí, que me había levantado. Ah, ok. Llegó. <risa> sí. um, iglesia, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Um, I go to shop. I sometimes, I never, I always, I frequently. No problem. I'm. I always. I always. Uh, go to. Go to church. Go to church. Okay, good. Next question, Roxana. How often does she have meetings? She have meetings. Um. Always. <laughs> she Same. always has meetings. I always have meetings. Has meetings. Okay. Next question, Roxana. How often do they go to go to the beach? A veces era sometimes, ¿verdad? Yep. I sometimes eh, go to the beach. Okay, very good. How often does he do the laundry? Laundry. Um, laundry. Yeah. Laundry. What was laundry? Lavar. Yes. La ropa. Do the laundry. <laughs> Lavar ropa. Yeah. How many people in here? Lava. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I... ¿Quién le lava a María? La lavadora. La lavadora. La lavadora. I was about to say the same. La lavadora. La lavadora lava. Hey, uh, can... sometimes... Ajá, Salvador. I sometimes do the laundry. Okay, very good. Very nice. Okay, Salvador, I want you to ask the questions to Jonathan to, to finish the cycle. Okay. Jonathan, how often do you go to church? Jonathan? Church or church? Church. Jonathan, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, he, he, uh, I mean, Salvador is asking you the questions. Uh, repeat, please. How, how often do you go to church? Um, uh, I never go to church. Okay. How often does she have meeting? Um, um, she usually has meeting. Okay. How often do they? How often do they go to the beach? Um, the, they seldom. They go to the beach. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mister. Uh -huh. Good, good. Often does he do laundry? Okay. How often does he do the laundry? Um, he huh? does. Uh -huh. He remember he and then the frequency uh -huh. adverb and then the main verb. He hardly ever uh -huh. does he do does does the laundry the laundry. Ah, okay, very good, Jonathan. Thank you and uh, thank you, Salvador. You did a great. Let's continue with this. Okay, 
Right after we get the questions, now we got a short, give me a second, a short talk. The one that we're going to be practicing like right now. Vamos a hacer lo mismo que hemos venido haciendo anteriormente. How come? We're going to read the conversation and then we're going to practice that conversation, okay? That's what we're going to be doing. Al final de la lectura, si tienen alguna palabra que es desconocida para ustedes, me lo hacen saber, please. Okay? But like right now, let's start this way. Give me a second. I'm going to make this bigger. Okay, there you go. All right, cool. This is a conversation between Anne and John, okay? And it says, John, how often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? And it says, Anne, every two hours. Every two hours. And you? And you? And it says, John. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? How often do you call your clients? And it says, and I often call them once a week. I often call them once a week on Monday, on Monday, but I usually call, but I usually call them on Friday to check their orders, to check their orders. Do you call clients? Do you call clients? And it says, John, yes. I always call them first. Yes, I always call them first. Okay. Then in the morning. Then in the morning. I believe it is important. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. I believe it is important to have the contact with them all the time. Okay, very good. Now, Anne, it says, you are right. You are right. Okay, there you go. De esa pequeña conversación, hay cierto vocabulario que no conozcamos muy bien. Or everything is okay. O todo está bien. Okay, perfect. It makes me think that everything is okay. Now, what are we going to do with this? Esta parte de esta conversación ustedes la tienen al inicio de la unidad 2 de su manual. Okay? That's the page. Es la segunda del inicio de la unidad A2. Uh, okay? Let's put this into context. Let's see. Bien, entonces, si no tenemos ninguna otra, uh, ninguna pregunta con relación a este vocabulario, what are we going to do? Vamos a hacer la pequeña práctica que les estaba mencionando. Voy a dejar de compartir un momento. All right, give me a second, give me a second. Give me a second. We got 16. So eight and eight that we're gonna be working. There you go. Entonces, lo que quiero básicamente es que podamos practicar un par de minutos esa pequeña conversación que tenemos ahí, okay? That's pretty much what we're gonna be doing. Uh, just now, give a sec to, to, to the request. Bien. Ah, uh, quiero que 
aceptemos, ok, aceptemos y vámonos a practicar un poco with this conversation. Ana María, what you doing? <laughs> okay, all right, Ana María, you there? William, are you there? Okay, I think you're there, William, but we need we need to enter, William. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call team one a week one. Sure. Hello? Are you practicing now? <laughs> what happened? What happened? I don't see you practicing. <laughs> to me? No, no. No, pero, no, no, pero, pero, pero. Pero yo le veo con el micrófono, no había eh, eh, apagado. ¿Y si lo quita el micrófono, el, el audífono? No, lo... ya, ya, ya. No, lo que pasa es que cuando hace el cambio de, de, que nos mete, me saca de la pantalla. Entonces no tengo cómo, cómo activar. Ajá, pero ya, ya, ya logré. Ah, good, good. Lo bueno es que ya logró. ¿Sí? Perfecto, entonces vamos a comenzar okay. la práctica. Ok. Comienza usted, Salvador. Ahorita estoy buscando que era la página 19. Yes. Ok, 19, yo le. Soy yo. How often do sí. you check, check your mail? Every two hours. And you? Perfect. Let's practice. Let me see. Okay. Will I try? They aren't. Or they on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? It's clients. Clients. Okay. Yes. Always, always uh, call them first thing in the morning. I believe it's, it is. Clients. Hello. Are you practicing? Two hours and you? 
Well, I try to check it as, as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? Okay. I often call the once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on the Friday to check the third order. order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. Ya le escribí en el mensaje. Ahí viene. Teacher. What happened? Este, mire, puede poner, eh, nos puede poner la, es que no, fíjese que en el manual no me aparece. Página 19. Es que a mí en el, es que yo no la he impreso. Mm. Ok. Uh, Entonces uh, a mí. Le puedo tomar. Ahí está. Yes. Ah, ok. Espérenme, solo le voy a tomar. Ok. Ya le digo, ya le digo. Vaya, ya está. Gracias, Tich. Ok, perfecto. Okay. Vaya, William. Okay. Empieza, empieza usted. O empiezo Va. yo. Está bien. Empiece usted mejor. Va. Ho, ho. Yo. Every two horse and you. No sacaron. No. No. <risa> no, 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 no. Es como así, como así que lo sacaron ahí, no sé. Así. Pues sí, como siempre nos deja ahí hablando solas. <risa> no, no, yo aviso siempre, mando un mensaje de discusión que usted no lo lea, es otra cosa. Vaya cosa. Está ah. bien, pues. No, 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 la última vez sí se me olvidó, se me olvidó, es cierto. Ah, verdad. Sí, cuando Vaya, usted me reclamó. quiere escuchar. Ok, do it, do it. Vaya, how often do you check your email? Every two hours and you? Hours. Uh -huh. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And all often do you call your client? I often call the once a week on Monday, but, but I usually call the on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time you are you are right right you are, you are right. right okay you are right very good there you go that was a good practice and Anna, Anna and uh, Stephanie okay thank let's, you let's change roles remember okay uh okay. dos minutos más probablemente y cambiamos, ok, nos vamos a la sala principal ok ok Perfect. bye I often call the ones a week on Monday but I usually call them on Friday to check the order do you call clients Yes, I always call the first, first thing in the morning. I believe it, it is important to have contact with them all the time. Oh, all right. Vaya, ahora inicio yo. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, 
you check your email? Every two hours, can you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your plan? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on free Friday to check their order. Did you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Hi, teacher. Hi, very good. It was good a conversation practice. Gracias, teacher. Ah, you're going good. How often do you check your email? Every two hours in you? But I try to check it, it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call 10 once a week on Monday, but I usually call 10 on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Very great. Very good. I think there is no there is no necessity like like to do it on uh, on the general um sala, but let's let's go for it, okay? Bien, vámonos a la sala principal entonces. Hey, teacher, no dejo a media, qué bárbaro. Mi negrita. Ah, hola. <risa> Ah, yo creí que decía, y me grita. <risa> no. <risa> ok, ok. Ey. Ya no me pude despedir yo de Roxana, mire. De un solo nos sacaron. <risa> I'm sorry. Apenas nos estábamos presentando, qué barbaridad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Vamos a contarnos nuestras historias, Tiche. Ah, oh, my God. Tiche, regréselos. Sí, ya les voy a re... Mañana les voy a dar más tiempo en los breakout rooms. Okay. Sí, es lunes. Si saca... es sí, porque si sacamos mal la nota va a ser su culpa, porque nos repasamos sí, rápido. Ajá, muy rápido. Too fast. Ay, qué valor, qué valor. No, no, no. I took them out because eh, estuve revisando cada una de las, de las, de las, de las prácticas and, and they were good. Y fueron bastante buenas, ¿ok? That's the way how we're going to be practicing short conversations. No la vamos a volver a practicar acá porque necesitamos avanzar, ¿ok? I need you to go to those pages on the, uh, let me see, on the book. Ok, give me a second. Give me a second. Yeah, this is the conversation. We're going to share screen. What is this screen? Yeah, this one is it. Ok, good. Bien, esta entonces era la, 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 la conversación. The conversation that we were practicing. Okay. Esta es la conversación que hemos estado practicando. Now, according to you what we're practicing, de acuerdo a lo que estuvieron practicando, vamos a responder estas, ok, estas preguntas. It says, how often does Anne check her email? Cada cuánto menciona en la conversación que la revisa. You were doing that. You were practicing that. Cada dos horas. Cada dos horas. Every two hours. Every two hours, you see. Every two hours. Yeah. En este caso, para hacer una oración completa, listen up, to make it completely, let's do this. Look, she yeah. 
Okay, every two hours. There you go. She checks her email every two hours. Now, next question. Eric, read the next question, please. Why is it important to check the email every day? Okay, very good. Why is it important to check the email every day? Every day. And it says in here. Ahora bien, vamos a leerlo entonces. To have contact with them all the time. All right, give me a second. We're going to put that. Oh my God, what did I do? There you go. It says, why is it important to check the email every day? Uh, because uh -huh. have content. Because I have content with them in the time. Contact. Mm -hmm. Why is it important to check uh, the email? Ah, okay. It is important to check. All right, it is important to check the email because. Can I mention now? To have contact with, the, with them all the time. Ah, okay, because. Okay, let's see. I can listen to it. Okay, repeat again. Because he? Because usually contact client. All right. It's Anna, right? Okay, he usually. All right. Okay, let's see. All right, and let's put it this way. Okay, we usually get contact. Usualmente es contactado, okay? That's the way. Give me a second. I don't know why I think it's the system is failing. I already say this. I like this. This is the one. Okay, perfect. We got it like that. Now let's, let's, let me see. There you go. Now let's focus in here. Okay, this is the chart that you had. This is the chart that you had in the presentation, okay? With the adverbs in here from 100% to 0%. Now, on your turn in here, listen up. Using always, using often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never, I want you to write in here one activity each. Quiero que acá escribamos una actividad por cada una de ellas. Ejemplo, with always. I'm gonna write down one example. I always wash, drink coffee. Ah, yeah. Drink coffee. There you go. You see, esa es una actividad que yo hago, ok, siempre. Another activity. I often watch TV. I often watch TV. Sometimes. I sometimes travel to another country. Let's see. I sometimes travel to another country. And we got, let's see, we got in here. Hardly ever. 
I hardly ever play soccer. Okay, don't look at me. Look, do, 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 do the ones for you, okay? Háganla de ustedes. Yo estoy haciendo la mía modo de ejemplo. Let's put it like that. I'm okay. going to ask yours at the end. Uh -huh. And sometimes it's, uh, I sometimes travel to another country. Yeah, I sometimes travel to another country. A veces viajo hacia otro país. Aquí le falta la R. Let me see. I sometimes travel to another. Oh my God, I'm sleepy. Thank you. Give me a second. Okay. I don't know what happened, pero me está fallando esta cosa. Give me a second. You see? Give me a second. Ah, this is the way you say. There you go. I sometimes travel to another country. Let's see. Ah, oh my God. Tendré que borrarla. Like this. I sometimes travel to another country. Like that. This is the one. Thank you, Nubia. Okay. You were very perceptive. Okay. And never. An activity using them. I never drink tequila. Ah, very good. Tequila. Yes. Esas cosas no. There you go. So I got mine in there. Okay. Bien, acá tengo las mías. Ahora, ¿ya hicieron las suyas? Did you do yours? Okay, if you haven't, let's do it. One using always, one using often, another one using sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Recordemos la posición de los frequency adverbs es entre el sujeto y el verbo principal, ¿ok? No al principio, no al final. Es en medio del pronombre y el verbo principal. ¿Ok? Let me know when you finish. Just let me know. Finish. Okay, perfect. All right, Jonathan, read yours, please. Jonathan, are you there? Yes. Okay, Jonathan, read yours, read your examples. I always drink coffee. Okay, very good. Now using often, give me your example using often. Jonathan. I often watch TV. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay, Eric, from your own, give me your sentence using sometimes. Okay, teacher. Uh, I always uh, walk to the bus stop. I often go to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. I'm sometimes watch TV at night. I hardly ever eat pasta. Okay. Uh, I never drink uh, Coca-Cola. Very good, Eddie. Thank you. Let's see, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. William. Uh, 
William, are you there? Okay. Uh, I always watch TV. Mm -hmm. in the, I, I often had my dinner at the end. Uh -huh. I sometimes I go to the shores. Okay. I am hardly ever. Hardly ever. Uh huh. Um. Eat uh tea. Oh, okay. I. Never uh -huh. play baseball. Baseball. Very good, William. Thank you. Let's see, yeah. Ana Maria. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll always eat uh, pasta con atún. Okay. Uh, I often uh, listen music. Listen music. Uh -huh. And I sometimes run in the morning. Uh -huh. I hardly ever go to mountain. Okay. And finally, I never drink at all chuco rosado. <laughs> ya la hubiera curado de la de la de la <laughs> de la alergia. <laughs> Santo remedio hubiera tenido. But you don't want, okay? All right, Nubia. Let's do it, Nubia. Okay. I always get up at six o'clock. Mm -hmm. I often pupusas. Sometimes I visit my family. I hardly ever visit my best friend. Uh -huh. I never, um, I never, I never, <laughs> um, I never cooking in my house. <laughs> you never cook in your house? Ah, come on, come on. Ah, situaciones reveladoras que se están dando acá a través de mis ejemplos. Ah, sí, sí, cocino. Ah, ok, ok, I will believe you. I will believe you. Lo voy a creer. Ok. No, listen up, listen up, listen, listen. Uh, because of time, ok. Por motivos de, 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 de tiempo y pues por hacerles, eh, uh, like to say like that, por respetar su tiempo, nos vamos a quedar hasta acá. Listen, mañana, los que no me han leído, por favor, esa, esa, esa parte, mañana al principio de la clase lo vamos a hacer, ¿ok? Con esto de las frequency adverbs. Recordemos que la posición de las frequency adverbs generalmente son al, ¿ok? Entre el pronombre o nombre propio y el verbo. En medio de esos dos es que se colocan los frequency adverbs, right? And we got them like, like the one that we got at the beginning of this one. Give me a second. Let me write this. There you go. And we can find them in page 18. Remember that, okay? They are in here. Okay. Acá los tenemos uh, ya organizados desde always hasta never. Ok, you, you can check them in there. Uh, otra cosa que les quería mencionar, lo de la discusión, ok, discussion in the platform. Igual, les va a quedar ahora, ok, ahora, para que la puedan, eh, digamos, trabajar ahora o ya sea mañana, lo de la discussion de este día. Que en este caso probablemente les pida un par de ejemplos, ¿ok? O les escriba alguna una pregunta. 
to send it how often you send me the respuesta. That's pretty much, ok? Recuerde que ahí no se requiere de mucho, ok? Solo son un par de oraciones, un par de preguntas, and that's it. Don't complicate, ok? Pero sí es bastante importante que usted pueda, pueda discutir ahí en esa, en esa discussion section. Así que espero contar con todos ustedes, ok? Now, give me a second. I'm going to stop sharing um, this presentation to pass the attendance list. Por cierto, Jonathan, ahora se me va a quedar uh, con los 10 minutos de feedback, ¿ok? Yo. Yes. Okay. All right, perfect. Bien, voy a pasar resistencia entonces uh, before we leave. Let's see, Amilcar Gustavo. No here, right? Ana Claribel. Present. Perfect. Uh, Ana Maria. Present. Okay, good. Eric Guillermo. Present, teacher. Good. Carlos Eduardo. Present, teacher. Perfect. Stephanie Janet. Ah, did it show up? Fatima Alejandra. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Helmer Cruz. Present. Perfect. Let's see. Jonathan Alexander. Present. All right. Carla Benazir. Present. Okay, very good. Let's see. Nubia Chulema. Present, teacher. Very good. Let's see. Romeo Alexis. Present. Excellent. Rosa del Carmen. Ay, aquí no la voy a conectar. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Ok, muy bien. Sí. Salvador Alfonso. Yeah. Ah, ok. Let's see, Stephanie Adelaide didn't show up. Uh, Stephanie Lisset. Present. Ok, nice. William Alberto. Present. Nice. And the last one. Joanny Noemi. Teacher, no me mencionó. Are you serious? Ay, pobrecita. No sé si ya lo pasó. I got them in here, Natalie. Let's see. No sé qué está. Ok, ya. Yeah, qué malo. Ya, yeah, Natalie, I got it in here. Es bien malo, es bien malo. ¿Quién lo mira? No, the thing is that I, I got, I, I think I got problems with the internet and the list is like, like, la lista no sé, como que se está... Está medio rarita. I, I had to check it. Ay, no. Nada que se está durmiendo la tichera. <laughs> ok, let me see. A mí se me hace que se está durmiendo. <laughs> no, no, no. I must not be sleeping because I had time to do. La vieja confiable, va, la vieja confiable. Cabal. Ay, no sé. La lista está fina, teacher. Teacher, la lista está fina. Se mueve. It might be me. Ajá. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. In part, it's it's me, okay? It's me. Pero, ¿qué pasó con Ana María, hombre? Quiero que Ana María eh, comente. Sí, que diga su punto de vista. Don't you think? Teacher, que dé una oración de buena onda. <laughs> Ana María, what happened, Ana María? No, teacher. No. Okay. All right, no, no more. No ya more. ve que es malo. Ana no, María, no vuelva poquito, a comer esas poquito. galletas, por favor, porque mire cómo le están molestando. No puede ser. Look, Ana María, cuando venga a San Miguel le voy a tener unos cinco paquetes de Oreo de diferentes. No, Ana María. Ah, gracias, no, no, gracias. No vuelva a comer eso. No, es que, es que, es que, es que esa vocecita escucho, pues sí, así que, like, like, just, just, just having a good time. Y se oye más ronca, ¿verdad? De, de, de al principio. Y como el que sí, 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 va a hacer la plata. Yes. Le vamos a tener, no, un, le vamos a tener, tener la culpa si yo mañana no hablo, porque él me ha estado forzando a que yo hable. Le vamos a tener un, sí, un atol de los inmortales para que ya no vuelva a tener ese tipo de... de, de... La pubertad. La no, hey, ya dejen de molestar, hombre. Oh, chica, qué bárbaro, man. No, no. no, ya muy heladas no se las vuelva a tomar, Ana María. Oye, no, mentira. Okay. Tomen a Exactly, exactly. All right. 
Good. Okay. Hey, where is Jonathan? Jonathan. Ah, yeah, Jonathan, okay, ahí está. Estoy... Creí que ya se me había ido. <laughs> ok, listen up. Um, en unos 10, 15 minutos voy a, voy a ya habilitar lo de la, a lo de la discussion. Ok, let's do it, please. Eh, tienen, bueno, esta noche y mañana todo el día para poderlo hacer. Va a ser un par de preguntas nada más que van a tener que contestar, ok. Utilizando, claro, claro está, eh, los adverbios que um, acabamos de, de ver, ok. Desde always hasta never. Obviously, I'm not going to put them all. No los voy a poner a todos, sino que simplemente algunos en los cuales les voy a preguntar algunas actividades que a criterio suyo, pues van a decir cuál es el adverbio de frecuencia, ok, que vamos a, vamos a utilizar. All right. Hay cualquier cosa, please uh, write um, text to the group and I will be there um, answer any questions, ok. Good. Cualquier pregunta, pues ahí la hacen el grupo si tienen con relación al, a, a la class discussion. Ok. Y that's pretty much. Ah, antes de irme, les agradezco eh, la prontitud con la que hicieron lo de la homework el viernes pasado. Ok. Um, creo que es la primera vez que casi prácticamente el 100% de las notas están ya un día, digamos, Viernes por la noche, ok, before the class, antes de la clase, eso es bastante bueno. Just um, Adeline, Natalie, no sé si, si, si sabe cómo está el estado de salud de, salud de Adeline. Eh, ya está mejor, pero todavía es incapacitada, mm. creo que esa semana que hasta como tipo jueves. Ah, ok, ok, uh -huh. ok, ya, okay. sí. yeah, ok. Pues. Let's I haven't, Quiero I el lunes más. Ah, sí, porque cuatro días le han dado más de capacidad. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Let's see what happened to her. Ok, very good. All right, people. So that's going to be everything for tonight. Let's see you tomorrow. Mañana quizás in another... no capacitar yo por culpa de. <laughs> ah, por favor. Mañana van a ir con por una voz más, más ronca. Yes. Mañana que le mande el jarabe de zorritones. Exacto. Zorritones. Le va a decir como el, el papá de, ¿cómo se llama? De Star Wars. Ah, soy yo tu soy padre. tu Sí, en inglés. I am sí, your father. Igual, no, en la garganta. Pero por fuera, no por dentro. Sí. <risa> Ahí como ella <risa> gusta. Como ella gusta. Ya pasaron los 10 minutos. Hey, that's true. Hey, es cierto. Okay. Ya lo, ya lo regañaron, ya ven. See you, see you tomorrow, people. Yeah. See you tomorrow. I'm gonna stay with Jonathan, okay? Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs> Okay, Jonathan. Okay, we're going to have uh, 10 minutes for us to discuss, okay? Probably the topics that are not that common for you, okay? Or probably you have questions, okay? And I don't know, uh, the topics that we have been discussing last week are clear for you. No sé si los temas de la semana pasada y estos está todo claro. Si no, pues... Estos 10 minutos son para eso, para poder aclararlo. Sí, este, pues... Demora, pero... Por el momento, <risa> por el momento, por el momento eh, eh, tan ya, claro, lo bueno. único que... Lo único también, lo que me cuesta ahorita por el momento es entenderlo, ¿verdad? Porque, o sea, pero eso se va a ir en el tiempo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ok. Pero... Los temas están claros. All right. They are all the clear. Right? All right. What about the position? And the, the, do we understand the positions of uh, frequency adverbs in a sentence? Uh, en cuanto a la posición de los adverbios de frecuencia en una oración, um, are we clear with all that? 
Sí, eh, yo, sé, yo sé que va eh, entre el sujeto y el verbo. Ah, ok, perfect. O, yeah, that's the position. Um, o poner, eh, how often es al final. Ah, ok. All right, very good. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. Um, with the discussion topics, ok. Uh, ¿Cómo vamos con las, la, los temas de discusión en la parte de la plataforma? Ha, have you done them? O sea, o sea, de que, o sea, de que, ay, puto, te puede. En la plataforma, temas de discusión, creo que no, no he tocado ese tema, yo solamente las tareas he hecho. Ah, um, ok, ok. Yeah, but they, they, they are like kind of short. Digamos que es una nueva modalidad que, que, que han habilitado los, los, digamos, en la plataforma, en la cual es como una pequeña sí, práctica sí, extra. Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Ajá. Fíjense de que yo hace poco perdí mi celular uh -huh. y andaba, todo andaba ahí. Ese celular andaba demasiado organizado. Ajá. Y ahorita, por el momento, pues se me dificulta bastante conectarme durante el día. Uh -huh. Como la computadora la ocupo, pero para estar trabajando. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, I know. Uh -huh. I know. Uh -huh. Por eso es que me desatendí un poco de la plataforma, pero, pero sí, este, voy a empezar a, a ver ese, ese detalle de la, de la discusión, porque si no... Ajá, no sí. Me... Vaya, sí, sí, porque son, en, re, en realidad no son, no son muy largos, son bien cortos los lo que se pide, ajá. Entonces, no, okay. ajá, sí, vaya, ahí cuando lo vaya, ajá, cuando lo vaya a ver, uh, just make sure, uh, porque a veces, a veces generalmente no aparecen como, como los temas de discusión y simplemente para guiarlo, por si, por si los abre, uh, it's like here. Bueno, cuando ya está en la plataforma, en la parte de la plataforma, solo se ve en la parte de discusión, acá. All right. Yeah. And in here, a veces aparecen los temas de una vez y a veces no. Entonces, a veces simplemente aparece así, el muy layout, aparentemente como que no hay nada. Pero acá, cuando simplemente le damos acá en la opción de todos los temas, acá nos van a aparecer. In here. Ok. Entonces, acá estarían, estarían los temas de, 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 de discusión. Entonces, acá lo único que hacemos es simplemente darle clic. Y acá va a aparecer la indicación. Acá el tema. Y acá simplemente la indicación. ¿Y sí? Entonces acá aparecen unos ejemplos. Para que se pueda guiar. Y acá inclusive ya están los comentarios de algunos de sus compañeros. ¿Ok? Ah, okay. Entonces, así sería. E ir intercambiando cada uno de ellos. Uh -huh. Entonces la forma en cómo poder. Eh, digamos estar ahí en, 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 en sintonía. Por así decirlo. Por. Por, por si entra, ok. Sí. All right. Entonces, no sé si tenía alguna alguna pregunta adicional, Jonathan. Y me hace, permite. Eh, por el momento no, yo solamente eso de, 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 no estaba actualizado con esa cuestión del tema de discusión. Uh -huh. Y ahora sin el teléfono, man. <ríe> sí, sí. Qué mal. Eh. Qué mal. Pero fue doloroso perderlo. Uy, sí, sí, ya me imagino, porque cuando uno anda así todo bien organizado, de, así de esa manera, uf, cuesta bastante volver, volver a hacer lo mismo como andaba. Sí, sí, ah, sí casi dos años de tener ese teléfono. Híjole, pues sí. Sí, andaba muchas cosas ahí, pero lo andaba protegido por lo menos, con contraseñas sí, sí, sí. y todo. Ah, sí, por lo menos. Ahí, es, no. ahí es, eh, ese teléfono que no haya hallado, tiene que gastarle. <ríe> sí, cabal, cabal. Uh, tiene que gastarle bastante para poder, si es que quiere usarlo. <ríe> cabal. No, no, pues qué mal. Qué mal, Jonathan. All right. But anyway, Jonathan, entonces, bien, si no hay ninguna otra pregunta adicional, Jonathan, uh, nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? See you tomorrow. Okay. All right, Jonathan, ¿ok? Good night. Good night. Okay. Okay, today's topic was frequency adverbs. We were um, discussing some of them.
we were discussing some of the most common adverbs that we have in English. And then some of them are these ones. As you can see, we got uh, the adverbs in here, uh, the frequency, okay? Uh, the frequency means how frequently we do an activity. Uh, we got 100% to 0%. And we got the adverbs, always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, Occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, or rarely, and never. And we've got some examples, okay? I always get up at five o'clock. Como podemos notar la posición del adverbio de frecuencia está entre el sujeto, que en este caso puede ser un pronombre o un nombre propio. Okay, a pronoun or a no, uh, proper noun. And main verb, y el verbo principal. En este caso acá, el del ejemplo es get up. I always get up at five o'clock. Then we got usually. He usually drives to work. She normally checks her email. Okay. I often have breakfast at work. She sometimes, okay, she sometimes uses the microwave. I occasionally work overtime. We seldom take calls at work. She rarely has conferences. I never get late to work. Okay, so basically, as you can see, all of them are activities and in here, they appear with the frequency they do those activities. Okay. Bien, aquí entonces básicamente podemos ver cómo funcionan los frequency adverbs dentro de una oración. Y pues básicamente, una vez más, recordarles que los frequency adverbs son usados para mencionar que, con qué frecuencia básicamente nosotros hacemos actividades. Ok. That's pretty much the video conference for tonight. Okay, so see you in the next video conference.